Bokitov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and unfortunately, it has been a bad night while we are sleeping here in Europe. And while most of you probably going to bed earlier in the evening in the United States, uh, you're looking right here. This is a, a photograph of Club Blue in Fort Myers, Florida, guys. Fort Myers, Florida. Big news for us here because uh, as you can see here on your map here, this is Club Blue right here. We lived right here when we lived in Fort Myers, Florida, just off of Highway 82, State Road 82. Every day we'd go into Colonial Boulevard right there back when we actually owned our business and stuff. Our office was right here, not far from Club Blue, right around the corner, in fact. And from the reports that we're hearing about already, I pulled it up real quick uh, just to see... Uh, uh, what news channel was carrying it. We actually have a, we, we monitor a site with all kinds of breaking news there, but RT was pulling it up. Uh, Florida, uh, Florida shooting two killed as many as 17 injured at a, at a, a uh, little, at a nightclub called Club Blue. It is a nightclub for young people. That's what makes it even worse is people as young as 13 years old in, are, are known to be inside of this club right here in Fort Myers. Uh, it says at least uh, two people have been killed and over a dozen injured after a shooting at a nightclub in Fort Myers, Western Florida. The incident is believed to have taken place during a teen night with some of the people at the event as young as 13. The shooting took place at Club Blue in the early hours of Monday morning, according to Jim Mulligan, lieutenant of the Lee County Sheriff's Office. He said that two people have been killed. Uh, the scene has been described as a madhouse, and there have been reports of gunshots as people were exiting the nightclub, according to uh, Wink News, a television station based in Fort Myers. We've actually been on Wink News uh, uh, a couple of times ourselves there. So it, it's just a devastation for the United States of America to have this type of act happen uh, especially with young people there. And, of course, we were looking at the tweets on it. Many tweets were coming out, people that, that were there terrified, the young people going in screaming for their friend's name. Uh, the shooting, from what we understand, began on the inside of the club, went out. The police were in pursuit of the shooters. Uh, but as of yet, as far as we are aware of, there no one was actually uh, captured in that shooting. Then again, in Germany... I mean, this is just unbelievable, um, and I, I think uh, Pastor Begley caught this news already himself here in Germany. We left Germany. We actually, because we live, we're bordered right here by Germany. Uh, Germany is easy for us to get to. You know, we're only uh, two hours away uh, from most cities in Germany, at least on the on this side here. Uh, but now an ax, uh, not an ax, well, excuse me, a 27-year-old man. Uh, let's take a look at what it says here in just a moment here. I'll kill the s sound on that right there. But a 27-year-old uh, man uh, takes, uh, from what I understand, let me just, sorry about that. Let's, let's see what they're saying here. Three people in critical condition. He was a Syrian refugee. It was a bomb. That's what I was thinking. It was actually a bomb that went off. The very latest information we have relates to the explosive device itself and more information about who the bomber is believed to be. Now, just over my left shoulder, this is where the the wine bar in which the device was detonated is. So it was detonated inside of a wine bar. Let's see what we have right here. The Bavarian authorities have announced that the suspected suicide um, uh, bomber who, had, who was killed in the am ambush explosion was a 27-year-old Syrian man who was an asylum seeker. Uh, this is the issue that we're having as it is uh, Germany, especially because Merkel took in so many of the refugees. So the suspect was first noticed by security staff at, uh, at the uh, uh, Ansbach Open concert at about 9.45 p.m., police said in an updated statement. After he was refused entrance, the 27-year-old Syrian sat outside a local wine restaurant where at about 10, 10 p.m., according to the testimony of witness, the suspect leaned forward and detonated explosive. 
Uh, police added that the suspect has lived in uh, Ansbach since July 2nd of 2015, had a criminal history, a special commission with more than 30 people was established to handle the investigation. Following, uh, let's see, the, the attacker. All right, now here, here's the thing, guys, that really troubles me in this case here. We see that he has a criminal history. And this is what's happening in Europe. I've got to tell you just like it is, all right? The Syrian refugees are getting away with anything. If you commit a crime, you're being let go. You're not, there's, 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 there's really, they push down a lot of what goes on with the crimes in Europe that's going on. In fact, my wife was born in Slovakia. Her father, uh, Slovak-Ukrainian. Uh, when we went to apply to, to re-get her, uh, her, visa, or her, uh, yeah, her uh, visa card for Slovakia, which she always had one her whole life, they were giving her a hard time because she'd been in America uh, for 20, 20 plus years now. And so therefore, they didn't want to give her, her, give, renew her visa for her. Finally, one of the managers that decided to help uh, had some compassion. We're, he's working with us, very kind man. And he says to my wife, he says, you know, if you had just told the people you're a Syrian refugee, there would have been no questions asked. We wouldn't have cared if you had identification or not. We're commanded just to give you the visa. This is coming from the top inside of the immigration department in Slovakia. Germany, the same situation. They don't care. Why? Because the EU has got commands to let these people alone and just do whatever the heck they want. And the same thing with, with the criminal problem. We had the, the, uh, the foreign minister of the Czech Republic, totally, it was live on air, so there was no way anybody could stop him from what he had to say, but he said that the, immig the immigrant crisis in this country is costing the lives of 3,000 women annually throughout the entire EU because women are marrying these men or whatever, going back, they're killing them, rapes, everything else that you can imagine. It's just not making the headlines, guys. Very few of it ever makes the headlines. It is a horrendous situation that is going on. And by the way, the scenes you're seeing there, that's from the, uh, the, the attack in Nice, France, uh, as they continue to show the different attacks that have happened here over the course of, of, of the last week or so here. Uh, again, so many attacks have happened just in the last few days. Uh, we had, of course, Nice, France was the first one there. We were, uh, we, uh, when that happened, we were actually still in Britain covering uh, the, uh, the, uh, the anti-nuclear weapons uh, uh, protest that was going on there in, in London. Uh, and then, of course, Nice, uh, France is attacked. And then from there, uh, we end up in Munich, uh, Germany, because of the attack in Munich, Germany, uh, that happens uh, be right before Munich. You had the man with a, the Arabic man with a, with a uh, axe uh, attacking people uh, in 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 one of the uh, trains or subways there, and and now we have the bombing here. It, you know, let me tell you something. ISIS swore that they were going to start launching a lot of attacks in Europe. Now, the German authorities are not wanting to call these uh, uh, terrorist attacks. They're wanting to say that this is just people that are refugees that are not linked with terrorist organizations. Well, that's not true because the, the ISIS said they were going to do it. And you know, guys, this is something's got to stop here. Something's got to change. This has become a serious situation. And yesterday, uh, or day before yesterday, I believe it was on Saturday, we were covering... Uh, the neo-Nazi group uh, that's there, there was, pro that was beginning to do their protests there in uh, Karl Marx, Karl, Karl, Karl's, uh, um, uh, Karl's plots, excuse me, where they were doing their own protests there. And although they are a super radical group there, that's very much like in the times from Hitler and stuff, and Hitler is a very pro figure for them. Uh, at the same time, it's groups like that that will gain momentum because the government is not doing anything about the terrorist groups that are happening on their own soil because they're allowing the influx of the, of the refugees without a controlled way of handling this to where the people are safe and not just letting the people be at large and to carry out all sorts of violent attacks. It's, 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 very, it's very, very sad indeed. 
guys, we will be bringing out, uh, I was hoping to do it this weekend. We were a little bit late. There's Pajita uh, uh, that you saw just a second ago marching on your screen. That is that radical group. But then again, you have to understand why would they be marching to begin with? Why would this be coming back if we didn't have the migrant crisis that's, that's causing all the unrest in Germany as it is? It is a nationalist march. It is a nationalist move. And it is going to gain momentum. It is. No matter how much you can be uh, against the radicalization, that radicalization is being birthed because of the Syrian refugee crisis. And it doesn't mean that all the Syrians are bad by no means. I don't believe that, and not even in, in the slightest bit. But there is a minority that is radical among them, and that's what's causing the terror for the Germans and for the rest of the Europe. Europe <clears throat> excuse me, and the rest of Europe's citizens as well. France. Germany, the two main targets right now. It's only a matter of time before uh, England is, is hit as well, and even some of the other countries. Uh, even the Czech Republic has taken in refugees, uh, but they're, the Czech Republic is a little bit more careful about it. They, everyone is screened, etc. It's, it's, a, it's a tragedy what's happening. It's a tragedy what's happening in the United States as well, friends. We realize that, uh, again, after so many attacks in the United States, police shootings, now different attacks on citizens as well. Uh, by gunfire in Fort Myers, the latest one, our, our own home city there in the United States. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. And I guess we should say, Ain Shalom, as the Bible said. They will say there is peace, and there is no peace. It is Ain Shalom. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.